And I have promised my coworkers an invasion of teacups, and so I must deliver. Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today I have a thrift haul for you. Usually I do take you guys along thrifting, but I went to a bunch of new stores outside of the city, and I usually don't film the first time I go to a store just because I like to like kind of get the vibe of the place down and have a little bit of an idea of what to expect before I take you guys along with me. Also, it was just kind of nice to have a thrift day to myself. I love taking you all along, but it is a different thrifting experience than when I just go by myself. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and start diving into what I got and like kind of where I got it. I'm just gonna say small thrift shops are always the way to go, and I feel like this thrift haul really shows that. But first, I'm gonna start with the big box stores because I got hardly anything at them. And the first was the Value Village. I will show you this guy on. Oh, goodness. Oh, there were pins in the pocket. I accidentally stole pins from Value Village. I didn't realize that. I wonder what pin that is. I'm gonna have to look. We have this little windbreaker guy. This is a bona fide 80s windbreaker. When I bought it, I thought it might be a reproduction, but I looked up the brand. And this is a for real 80s windbreaker, and it's like perfectly my size. Here I am wearing the windbreaker. I just think this is so cute. I actually think this was used in gymnastics competitions because uh, not only was there one, but there were actually two pins in it. Oh, it looks like that's in focus. Here's the Spokane one. And then here is a gymnastics pin. And this is why I think this coat might have been actually used for gymnastics. Uh, but yeah, these two are in the pocket. I think they were probably in the pocket of the original owner of this beautiful 80s piece. But as you can see, it fits me really well. I'm really petite and it fits me nice on the waist. It's like perfectly tight. Um, the cuffs are pretty tight. This is just really great. And the colors are something I would wear a bunch. So it like was perfect. That is what all I got at Value Village. I was kind of in a mood by the time I hit Value Village, I think. And like... I'm trying to remember, there was something about that Value Village that like really irked me and ticked me off and I don't remember what it was. Next up, uh, we have what I got at the Goodwill. This is it, it's a pot. Um, I got this pot because, ooh, sorry microphone. I got this pot because I plan on dyeing things this summer and you should never use the pots you use to cook to dye things, that's a super big no-no. Please don't do that. Go and thrift a pot. That's what this one's for. And I chose this one. It wasn't the biggest one and I will still be looking for a bigger pot to dye things in. However, I did get this one because it's white on the inside. So I feel like it'll give me better visibility into like what my dye bath is actually doing. Um, so that's like my theory on it. I have no idea if that's true or maybe it'll just turn really ugly colors. I don't know. I don't really have a method to my madness. Next up, we'll go to my I guess third favorite of the smaller thrift shops, even though I don't know if the St. Vincent's thrift shop is a smaller thrift shop. I don't really know if they're a big chain or what exactly, but I did go to a new one. Um, it was okay. It didn't have a ton, but I was really trying to be very, very careful about what I thrifted on this trip. So first thing is this white slip. I know I have so many white slips. I didn't need another one, but this one was really soft. Like, it's really soft and I think really comfy. I think it's nylon and I think it is actual 50s because of like the details it has on it. And then I also got this little half slip that's pretty short. I find myself as I've been working, going back into the office, I've been finding myself wearing more of these little half slips and I believe this was only like a dollar something. I spent like $16 here so I really didn't spend much like considering the great things I got. But yeah, I just, I find myself wanting a few more slips that I can wear as like that barrier to tights so the clothes don't stick together. And so it's really nice when they're kind of short. And then last is this dress. I won't wear this dress. This is not for the dress. I actually bought this for the lace material. Um, it's like has this really nice striped lace with like soft netting and the lace itself feels pretty soft, which I liked and I so rarely find lace that I actually like that I did pick this up, especially with me sewing more 70s pieces recently. Um, having some like lace fabric on hand will actually be kind of nice. This was my most expensive purchase there for sure and it was half off $7.99 so it was $4. Next up, my second favorite thrift shop, I guess. I forget the name of the church this was at. All of these were in Kent. If you're local and you wanna check them out, just thrift, like search thrift stores on your Google Maps. And there's quite a few in Kent. This one was kind of weird because it was at a church and you had to like walk to, I don't know. I kind of like was like, am I gonna get murdered? Cause you had to kind of like walk down these steps along the side of the church into like this like barn looking thing. 
and I don't know, it just, it felt a little murdery, um, but obviously I did not get murdered, and it was not murdery once I got in there and started looking, it just felt a little bit murdery, um, but first thing I got there is this beautiful necklace for five dollars. It's just a nice little purple blue necklace. Uh, that I thought was really cute and I ended up picking up. And then next up we have, I haven't even tried this on yet. So when I try it on for you guys, it'll be the first time I've tried it on. It's this like beautiful 90s denim um, kindergartner teacher dress. Uh, I just thought it was really cute because these little flowers to me kind of look like thistles. I could wear it with like a top and kind of like make it look nicer. I really think this is still very cute. It does not fit me well. So my thoughts are I'm going to take the shoulders up just a tiny bit so it's not as baggy on the side. Um, and then I'm also going to just put in some darts in here and in here to make it fit me just a little bit better. All of these things that I'm doing will be reversible so when I go and if I eventually sell this guy, I can let it all out and it becomes a side use medium again. I do really like this, even though it doesn't fit great. I really like, it's like perfectly skimming the floor right now. It's like my ideal length. So I'm gonna figure out how to make this guy work because I think it's so cute. I love the buttons and I love the embroidered details on this guy. And then now for the other stuff, they had this really beautiful like it's a pink, I guess, like cake tray. I paid $4 for this guy. It has like this beautiful etching on it. And I just thought it was lovely. I don't feel like I actually like have cookies or host as much as I used to, but once upon a time pre-pandemic, I actually hosted quite a bit and it would be nice to have this for when I do get to host again. I got this for when that day comes. And then now to the various delicate pieces. First guy is this teacup I paid $4.50 for. It is a nice like iridescent teacup. I just, I thought this was lovely for $4.50 and I really love a cutout thing like this. And now that I'm back in my office, I now have my desk to decorate as well. And I have promised my coworkers an invasion of teacups and so I must deliver. So I picked up more teacups than I have in a while because I now have a whole new desk to fill, lucky me. When I walked in this beautiful table of copper music boxes, I've never really seen anything like them before. I, th I picked up two. I picked up one again for my desk at work, and then I picked up another for, I think, my backdrop back here. I don't switch out decorations. I keep them pretty much where they are forever because I just, I don't really love decorating. So like once I like something, I'll pick it up and I'll put it in its place and it'll stay there until I move to my next apartment and then everything gets kind of reshuffled. Uh, but the first one, oh goodness is this beautiful little tea, like it's like a cart, a little flower cart. I just thought it was stunning. I also really like that the copper is kind of like rainbowy. Um, it says, please do not overwind. Um, but let me wind it a little. Oh, that's really cute. I didn't realize this was a favorite things. Okay, please stop. I'll show you on the next one of these that I got. I just thought this was really lovely with the little flowers in front and then the copper things in the back. And I just think it's really delicate and nice. And I'm gonna bring this in to sit on my desk at work. Here, you can kind of see there's a little wheel guy here. And I don't think it's supposed to be this visible. Like I think there was another piece to it. Oh, interesting that. This one plays You Light Up My Life. That's really cute. It's, uh, as you can see, it's, sorry, I haven't really shown the whole thing in its glory. It's a little lighthouse and my house is kind of like vintage grandma by the sea themed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So I felt like this lighthouse was perfect for my like little display back there. I'm gonna have to figure out exactly where it fits in, but I love the details of this. I just, I really thought these were so cool and I'm so excited to have two in my collection. Uh, and this one was $7 and I think, let me check what the gardening cart one was. The garden cart was $8.50, uh, which makes sense. It's pretty complex and it works as opposed to the lighthouse one, which is broken, but it will still serve the purpose of my displays. So I'm just, I love these and I'm really, really excited. That's it for that thrift shop. The last thrift shop I went to was the Seattle Children's Kent Bargain Boutique. 
I loved this thrift store. It was kind of almost a little bit antique mall thrift store feeling. Like they had a lot of really nice vintage things. I'm first going to start with, I got some crafting supplies there. Got some of this. This is some cotton crochet thread. I crochet to applique onto clothes. So a weight like this is absolutely perfect. And I think this bag was only $4 and it was 30% off. So it was pretty cheap. I also picked up, there were two metal zippers. They were 150 each. These are two seven inch yellow zippers. I also picked up, this is some pink ribbon. I believe it is nylon. So I picked this up because it wasn't polyester. And then I picked up this guy. This is some black velvet trim that I think is really pretty and would look really great on like a gunny sax, like a dark goth gunny sax thing um, if I decide to do something like that. And I paid 50 cents for that one and 50 cents for this one. And then they were still also 30% off and so were the zippers. They had their crafting supplies and household goods 30% off. And then they had coats 50% off and jewelry was also 50% off, which I didn't know until I checked out or I would have definitely bought more jewelry there. Before we hop into jewelry, I do have some last craft supplies. Uh, I paid 250 for this. This is just some nice burgundy um, eyelet trim that I thought was really nice and I could definitely use. And then I got some wider uh, laces. I've had a few patterns recently call for a wider lace. This is three and a quarter and this is two and a quarter. And I really liked this thrift shop and the way they did their trim because everything was measured and you have your measurements in the bags. A lot of thrift stores, just you buy a bag and you like pray for the best, but I knew there was enough in each of these for it to actually be useful for me. So that's actually really great. Now let's start talking about the more vintagey stuff. Although I think those laces are definitely vintage. Uh, but let's talk teacups. Um, I need to unwrap these. Also, the people, they did like such a nice job wrapping my items, um, which is not always true at thrift stores. Uh, anybody who goes frequently knows that it varies. Uh, this is the first teacup. It's this really lovely, it's violet. And I thought it was super lovely and I absolutely adore this little handle. I think it is so pretty and it's really delicate. It has no maker's mark. And then the second teacup I got, plate is chipped on this guy or uh, broken and whoever glued it back together did a terrible job. I bought this though because of the thistles. I feel like you don't see thistles as much as a of a thing on teacups and again I really like this handle. I think it's really lovely and it has like little thistles on the inside of the cup. I just really thought this was stunning so I did pick it up despite it being broken. Next up we have jewelry and clothes so let me readjust myself, reconfigure. So let's talk jewelry. On the thistle theme, I think these are either little uh, strawberries or thistle plants. Uh, you could look at it either way. This was 9.50, but it was 50% off. And then the second piece I got, I am very excited about. This was 18.50, but again, it was half percent, half percent off. 50% off slash half off, not a half percent off. That would be a bummer. It's this really lovely chain. I, it looks like decently old to me because like I feel like I don't see very many painted pieces like this but it's like painted with little roses and it sits really lovely on the neck and like I like how it's kind of a little bit more um rusty like isn't the word and tarnish isn't the word but it's a little bit like looks like just like a little bit more worn and I think that's really really pretty so I picked it up and then the last thing I got is the most expensive thing I got on this trip. It was $25, which I thought it was gonna be 50, so I was pretty excited. It is this beautiful wool Austrian coat. Looking up this brand, it looks like it was made in the 90s, but it looks older than that. It's this beautiful green felted wool. It's just absolutely gorgeously made. You can see this beautiful lining in it. I have worn this. Uh, my biggest critique of the coat is the felt is just a little bit like scratchy. So it's like if you actually are wearing it closed up around your neck it's really uncomfortable without like a scarf or something i just think it's absolutely lovely it has like this little band here and then i will go ahead and try this one on to show it to you uh here is this coat uh showing it to you on it hits pretty well for me uh, it's just a little bit over my shoulders. I think when buttoned, it's about perfect. I just think this is super cute and it'll fit with all sorts of outfits I have. I have a lot of pieces that I think would like work well with having a more basic colored coat as opposed to some of the really bright colorful coats I have. Hey, and that is the end of this thrift haul. I feel like that was long. I spent, I think exactly $150 that day. I didn't need all these things, of course, but I'm still pretty pleased with what I paid, all things considered, especially since... <laughs> 
a very beautiful wool coat was included there. Yeah, so that definitely concludes it. If you want to support my channel, there's a bunch of different ways to do so. I did start a Ko-Fi where you can buy me a coffee if you want. And then of course, there's always all the free ways you can support my channel by liking this video, commenting down below, or hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around for all my thrifting and vintage and sewing content. And I will see you next time. Bye.